Hello everybody, how's it going? This is Joey66 and I am coming at you from a semi-nice uh, Superior Nebraska today. I believe it is about 45 degrees out. You can't complain too much being uh, in the uh, later part of November here now, so I uh, can't complain about the weather too much. It's not bad. It's nice and sunny. I got the old Challenger Scat Pack out just basically to make this video for you guys. I like making them from the driver's seat. Uh, for some reason I just uh, enjoy doing that and uh, put the camera up here on the windshield and uh, talk to you guys. Uh, today's video um, as you probably know from the title, is about the uh, General Motors GM is uh, now suing uh, FCA Chrysler, the people that make our Dodge Challengers and Chargers and a bunch of other cool stuff, Jeeps and Ram pickups and all the Fiats and uh, Alfa Romeos and all the other cars. Um, they are suing that company for uh, what they allege is um, that they bribed UAW leaders to get a better contract with a uh, UAW workers in the past and that it cost GM money. Now, um, <clears throat> GM, as of late, has not had very much success in uh, anything they've done other than the C8 Corvette. The C8 Corvette is amazing. I think everybody loves it. Uh, you really don't hear anything bad about it, even from GM and uh, Corvette haters even. Um, it, it, it's a beautiful car. They've really, I think, uh, knocked it out of the park with that. But everything else they've done as of late seems to be kind of like they just aren't doing well. They had the strike. Uh, which went on for I think over a month, and and, and uh, so that's that was an issue. They uh, the Camaro has uh, tanked in sales after the redesign. That it, it looks like it's smiling at you, which is a weird thing. I don't get it. Um, a lot of people agree that it's not a very attractive vehicle. It doesn't look like an aggressive um, muscle car or sports car type car. It's got a. It looks to me, and I think a lot of other people like a Malibu or an Impala with two doors. But anyway, uh, aside from their styling, they also have the. Uh, the, uh, the uh, Chevy pickup truck that looks like it is upside down from the front. It looks like it's flipped over. I'm not sure whose design that was. But anyway, they've just had some weird design things. They've had some sales issues. They A lot of their cars are dropped off in sales and then they had to strike. Like I said, other than the C8 thing, at least in my opinion, they haven't done much right lately. I'm not a financial expert. I don't know all the numbers and sales and profits and all that stuff. But um, it just seems like they're having some issues and uh, in, all their, in all their divisions. Uh, Chevy in particular, I think, but uh, I don't know if anybody even cares about Buick, do they? I don't know, <laughs> it's mostly older people that buy those, and I don't think they care a whole lot, but anyway, I don't want to get off the subject too much. GM is suing for billions of dollars, I, f I forget the amount now. Um, they want to sue FCA Chrysler, uh, Fiat Chrysler of America, um, saying that, yeah, they bribed that uh, Sergio Marchionne, who is the former head of uh, Fiat Chrysler, who has now passed away, that he and other um, FCA officials, higher-ups, um, bribed higher up UAW uh, members from uh, from the uh, company and um, and which got them a better deal. Now GM pays I think it's eight dollars more per hour um, after everything's said and done with benefits and all the other stuff. They pay about eight more dollars an hour than FCA does to the UAW workers, um, not just in salary like I said, but when you add in all the benefits and everything that it costs them. I think it costs them an average of fifty-five dollars an hour, and uh, FCA's uh, seven or eight dollars less than that. And Ford's somewhere in the middle. I think Ford is uh, six dollars more than FCA for their total cost per employee per hour. So anyway, not happy about that. They claim that uh, the reason that FCA got such a good deal with their workers was because they bribed the UAW leaders. Well, even if they did, you know, I don't think, I, I, who knows? We'll have to wait and see what the, what, you know, how the court case comes out. But the uh, workers still have to vote on these contracts. And um, I was just watching some older videos from back when this stuff was going on. And, you know, uh, Chrysler was in, in bad, bad shape. And then they got this new guy came in and kind of fixed things up. And they got merged with Fiat and all that stuff. And um, and, uh, and, and, he got a, and he got a contract with the UAW. And they agreed to take some pay cuts and some other little cuts here and there, benefit cuts and things like that, some minor things, in order to keep the company afloat because the workers were smart enough to realize that you can hold out for everything in the world. But if the company closes, you don't have anything. So... Um, and, and, yeah, and um, rather Chrysler was in uh, in very dire straits at the time and probably could have possibly gone under, maybe just liquidated everything and, and who knows, and, and nobody would have had a job then. So and sometimes as a worker, even though you don't want to, uh, you don't want to give in on things, um, you have to because you don't want to you know, lose your job, you don't want to lose everything, then you're, then you're out in the cold with nothing. So anyway, they got a pretty good deal with the UAW and compared to the other companies, a little bit better deal. And now GM is uh, saying that they have been ripped off and that they uh, bribed these people to get that deal. 
So we still have to wait, you know, for the court case and we'll see what happens. We'll see uh, see what comes out as far as facts and non-facts and all the other. GM sued VW back in the, uh, I believe it was the late 90s at the time. It was like $100 million, which isn't very much money by today's standards. But uh, for a similar thing, I believe they, they uh, I think it was a similar court case. So there you have a history of um, suing other companies, especially when they're not doing well. They like to blame somebody else for it. That's just my opinion. My opinion, that's what's happening here too. Um, I think Chrysler, uh, Fiat, FCA Corporation is doing pretty well. They're selling a lot of Jeeps. You know, the Jeep's selling very well. The uh, Ram pickups are selling very well. Uh, Challenger is out, out selling the Camaro. Uh, the Charger is selling in a, in, a, in a, you know, pretty big way as well. So um, FCA's had some pretty big successes as of late. They've made some uh, smart moves like not redesigning the Challenger, not spending that money yet. Uh, they keep coming out with uh, new versions of this car to keep it interesting, which is saving them a ton of money, and they're making a lot of money because of it, so they don't have to come out and redesign an entire car for billions of dollars and then hope it sells. They take an existing successful product and just keep making little tweaks to it, uh, little special editions, colors, this, that, and uh, they got a, almost like a whole new car to sell. And we'll talk about that in a minute, too. But anyway, just the, to, to me, my, my gut feeling is it's just like sour grapes on GM's part. They're not happy about their recent contract that they had to go through to, to get rid of the strike situation. And uh, they've been paying more money to their workers for years. And uh, I think, you know, part of it is their poor negotiating skills possibly. And now they want to try to take it out on somebody else. But like I said, we don't know what happened yet because there hasn't been, the facts have not been put out there. And we'll have to see how that goes. But it'll be an interesting case to watch and see if, uh, if FCA ends up having to pay uh, GM anything at all or or how this all works out. Uh, FCA, you know, uh, Sergio Marchione, he died a while back, so, uh, but the leaders from FCA now say they're not concerned about this lawsuit, they're going to fight it with everything they have, and that it's uh, groundless and ridiculous, and, and, and that they are confident that there, nothing, nothing will happen to them and that they'll be fine. We'll see how that goes, so hopefully, uh, hopefully it doesn't affect them in too bad of a way. It's kind of interesting timing. Uh, GM just got through their strike, and now FCA is trying to merge with uh, Peugeot, that's just happened. We made a video about that. I'm sure you saw it in the news uh, with PSA, Peugeot in France to make uh, it the, I believe, fourth, I think we said, largest uh, car company in the world. So right in the middle of that, all of a sudden they get sued. Could that could that mess up that deal? That's very possible. That could mess up that deal. Uh, but we will uh, we'll see what happens, like I said. So what are you guys' opinion on this? And uh, can you guys think of anything other than the C8 that GM's done right lately? I'm trying to think. I know um, Cadillac came in dead last on the Consumer Reports list the other day uh, for reliability among the 30 car makers that you can purchase a car from in the United States. Um, they came in 30th, so dead last on their flagship product. Unless you want to consider Corvette flagship product, I guess you could argue that either way. But Cadillac's kind of the, the luxury brand of the uh, of the company, came in, coming in dead last in reliability and reported issues from uh, owners and all that stuff so that's not good news for them they've just had a lot of bad news lately and I think maybe um, this is one way of them trying to uh, do something to, to try to get some of the money back that they've been that they've been bleeding lately another company that's not car related has done something similar Gibson guitars um, they've been in a uh, financial bad place they make very expensive guitars good guitars but um, they're super expensive you've all heard of the Gibson Les Paul uh, it's a very expensive guitar, very sought-after guitar. It's a good guitar. Um, they're suing other guitar makers now who are um, selling guitars that look a little bit like Gibson guitars, but they're a different brand. They, they are shaped slightly different, but they are reminiscent of the Gibson guitars. And uh, they've decided to go out and sue these other companies after, uh, like, Dean Guitars have been making their guitars since uh, the late 70s. And suddenly now, um, in 2019, uh, Gibson has decided to try to go sue them after all these years of ignoring them and not worrying about it. Uh, they're suing Dean Guitars, and I'm not sure how that case is going. Uh, that's been around for a few months now. But it's just another example of a, of a big company, a huge company, who um, suddenly has financial problems and they try to want to blame other smaller companies and sue them for their problems or whatever. I just kind of feel like, to me, in my opinion, they're doing the same thing with GM suing SEA. But uh, what do you guys think? you think there's any grounds to it? Does anybody know anything? I don't think anybody really knows anything. If they were bribing UAW uh, leaders, that would obviously be a pretty secretive thing, so it would be kind of hard for anybody to know much. But uh, we'll see what happens in the court case, like I said.
The other thing I wanted to talk about today was the 50th Anniversary Challenger Special Editions. Um, we won't go into too much depth there, but I thought it was a really good looking car. I like the, I like the styling and everything, but it's uh, $6,000, I think $59.95 above the normal price. So if you were to buy a Scat Pack or whatever version of the Challenger you bought, and then you wanted to do the 50th Anniversary Special Edition with the special colors. Anyway, it's like $6,000 extra on top of the normal price. You're not really getting any extra performance or anything out of it. It's all appearance stuff and, and badging and things like that, which is kind of cool. But it seems like a lot of money for what it is. Um, that being said, when they, that gold one that they keep showing the pictures of, that has been all over. It's gold with the black and, and the shaker hood. And it, it is gorgeous. And every time I see that color, I think it's called Gold Rush. Uh, it looks beautiful. And, well, man, it's, that's, that's a really striking color to me. I think it's beautiful. I like the wheels a lot. The wheels look really good, even though they're... They're not my usual black wheels that I like, but they do look really good. The styling on them is really good. I like the badging. I like the fact that they tell you the number of the car on the up here on the dashboard. There's a plaque, I think, that says, you know, this is number whatever of whatever. And it's pretty cool. I mean, I think it's a cool thing. And again, it's like we talked about earlier. That's FCA taking the same car without redesigning, without spending millions and billions of dollars to redesign a car and rebuild a new car. They're taking a car that they already have everything for, and they're just tweaking it here and there to make money and I think that's kind of a genius thing that they do because it works every time they do it they haven't failed yet it works every time they come out the wide bodies they come out with um, the 1320 and then the, the red eye you know they keep doing all these things to keep it interesting and which is cool in the demon you know all the other things that they do we've all talked about that a lot and uh, I think it's pretty cool what they're doing again the 50th anniversary thing you're not getting a lot for that six thousand dollars other than having I guess a semi special car appearance wise but uh, what do you guys think? I think it's pretty cool. And again, that gold one, man, that gold rush is nice. I think it's what it's called, gold rush. Correct me if I'm wrong, you guys. Um, really beautiful car. And uh, first uh, first time I saw it, I was like, ooh, I like that. I like that. I usually don't like cars that color, but for some reason, this car and that color looks really, really good with the black black hood and everything like that. So what do you think, guys? What do you think of that? You think they're going to sell? I'm sure they'll sell all of them, obviously. And... Uh, I don't know, do you think it's worth $6,000? Answer down below if you think it's worth 6000 extra bucks. I believe it's fifty nine ninety five. So let me know, guys. I'm going to get out of here right now. I'm going to go home. I'm going to edit this video and see if I get called out to work before I can get this up. Hopefully, I can get this up and for you guys to watch tonight before I get called into work. I'm on call all the time, so um, and I just saw that I'm next on the list. So there's a chance I may not get this up right away. Hopefully, I'm making this um, Saturday afternoon, early afternoon on Saturday, so... Uh, let's see. This is Joy66, and I'm going to go now. Take care. I'll see you guys soon. Thank you.